nothing. The rolling green hills of jellyfish fields, a place to experience nature at its most raw, and sometimes a bit tender from the stings. Oof, this music though. Yep. Squidward, are you okay? No, I'm not okay, you barnacle head. Do I look like I'm okay? Yeah. Well, your nose does look pretty big. I'm mean, <laughs> bigger than usual because it's usually pretty big. And you look clammy. And oh my gosh, you're bald! <laughs> I've always been bald, but now I'm stung all over. Well, according to the Jellyfisher Field Manual, severe jellyfish stings can be treated effectively by applying a thick layer of King Jellyfish Jelly to the affected areas. <laughs> King j -j Jellyfish? Well, I guess you're off to scale Sport Mountain and die a horrible sport. death under the vicious tentacles of King Jellyfish. <laughs> I'll stay here, balled up here in excruciating pain. <laughs> You do that! Don't worry, Squidward! I'll bring back that King Jellyfish Jelly for you to rub all over yourself! <laughs> I feel like the Tiki's are almost more animated than they were. Maybe they did do that. I don't remember. I don't remember. So I'm gonna try to grab as many shiny things as I can because uh, apparently you need a lot of them in order to get all of the spatulas. Oh, I messed up. I wasn't supposed to break this yet. Oh yeah, the teleportation boxes. I remember. Yep, I was supposed to do that. I meant to do that. Mm -hmm. Do I really have a loading screen for that? Ah, uh, this long of a loading screen though? Is it just loading up the whole cutscene again because I didn't get a check? Okay, no. Okay. It's kind of a long load time. All right. Okay, so I just missed a little bit. Basically nothing. We can't jellyfish today. I'm going fishing for robots. Dude, this game is gonna age poorly when there are robot or overlords leading all of us when the AI takes over. You just met the Spongenator. Oh, I keep, I keep forgetting. You gotta leave the tiki heads there for a second so you can jump off of them first. Usually. More underwear that I don't need. Cool. Ultra combo. Oh, I forgot about the combos they have. Where you get like Patrick needs to do laundry. Oh, you can jump on those. That's kind of weird. That was just two of them? I don't know if that was worth climbing all the way up there for them. 
I don't actually remember what the combos do. Oh, you gotta pay shiny objects to get through the game. Mr. Krabs is like money bags, but worse. Because it's not just him, it's the other stuff. I don't, e I don't even know what I'm saying, man. Again, I'm really wishing that that one person that voted no was more than one person. <laughs> and you know what? I don't think... Can I, I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother reaching. It's not worth it. That's the difference between this and, like, Spyro, is that, like, in Spyro, you're incentivized to grab every single one. I'm probably going to compare this to Spyro way too much. Because that's just, like, my frame of reference, and plus I've already done a Let's Play of that one, so there's footage of me playing it so everybody else can see and compare it themselves. I don't know. They're in the same genre, kind of, so, like, both that, that 90s to early 2000s platformers where you collect stuff. Oh yeah, I gotta come back to that later. I don't need that underwear. Why do they give you so many underwears, yet there's like barely any enemies? I guess this is like the first level. So they're expecting people to just get used to being able to stop the robots at all. The, the grass in this game is pretty nice. It's uh, it's very lush. Uh, nice and green. We got the uh, nuclear devices in the ground here. It's uh, it's pretty scenic. Um, it shines. It, it shines. Uh, there's there's a lot of uh, kind of. I don't I don't. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. What am I doing? I'm doing a let's play. This is... Why are there bubbles there? Oh, they're... The bubbles are popping out from underneath those. Okay. That's a, that's a neat little effect. The, sh the shadows are very nice in this game. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say a bunch of nice things about this game, because it hasn't hurt me so far. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just... I'm, expect I'm expecting glitches to start coming out of nowhere and just ruining my my experience. <laughs> because I've heard that there are similar glitches to the original game, or newer ones, that have also been... Oh! Yep, that was my fault. That wasn't. Wait, how do I get these without... That's ten. That's ten, though, so that's worth it. Fresh like a spring breeze. Is there a way to, like, get to the top and just stop them from bouncing entirely? Okay, wait, how do I... Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Okay. This is really tricky. Okay, wait. I need to pay attention to where it bounces and run underneath it when it bounces. Okay. I feel like a new sponge. Okay, yeah, you can't destroy the cannon. Fresh like a spring breeze. Goodbye. <laughs> hey Gary, what's shaking? Wow! 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 A bungee jump for a golden spatula! I must be in heaven. Is that religion? In my video game? <laughs> <laughs> In my Spongebob family-friendly game, you're bringing up religion? How dare you! Oh. I messed up. Oh. I don't think I'm supposed to be down here. Just ease my way back up. Okay. <laughs> I'll get that spatula. But I'm just trying to get the shiny things. I, I don't care about th Oh, I got him. Well, this recording session's already gone on for, like, 27 minutes. I didn't feel like I was playing that long, but... Alright. 
I guess I'm gonna stop the recording and then start another one. I don't, I don't, I don't know how I'm gonna break these things up. I don't know. I'm probably just gonna like do a super cut at the end of it, and people are probably just gonna watch that one and be like, "Oh, hey, he has some funny moments."